Hey, what's up, everybody? You passed your Security Plus certification, updated your resume, and applied to dozens of jobs, and still silence. No interview, no job offers. What is going on? You're probably asking, did I make the wrong choice? Doesn't Security Plus certification guarantee a job in cybersecurity? Well, in this video, I'll explain why Security Plus certification alone is not enough and what you can do next actually to land a job. Now, let's be real. Security Plus is marked as the entry point to cybersecurity. While that's technically true, here's the catch. Most jobs that are require security plus certification also expect you to have at least two years of hands-on experience real hands-on skills familiarity with actual tools firewalls and ticketing system so what happens people pass security plus certification and they start applying for jobs such as security analysts or sock roles and they get rejected over and over it's not the security plus that's bad it's just not enough on its own certifications are just one piece of the puzzle. Now let's look at what Security Plus actually teaches you. Security fundamentals, threats and vulnerability, basic risk management, network and identity security, and compliance and best practices. That's all great knowledge, but it's very broad and foundational. What it doesn't cover is experience in ticketing system, real exposure to active directory or firewalls, interview ready examples of solving real problems. Employers want proof that you can do the job, not just pass a test. While Security Plus gives you the foundational knowledge, it's not going to make you the go-to person when a server crashes or when a firewall needs some troubleshooting. I have personally hired people in IT. You know what managers really look for? Can you troubleshoot a problem under pressure? Have you worked with real systems, Active Directory, networking tools, endpoint protection? Can you communicate with users? Security Plus does not prove those things by themselves. In many cyber jobs, especially in government and defense, list Security Plus because it is required by compliance, not because it proves your job readiness. So when you apply with just Security Plus certification and no experience, you get filtered out. Employers want to see you can perform under pressure, not just pass a certification exam. So this is what I recommend if you're stuck after getting your Security Plus certification. Get hands-on experience, even if it's a home lab. Set up a virtual lab with Kali Linux, Wireshark, or Splunk. Show that you're actively building your skills. Consider a help desk or a desktop role first. These are the realistic entry points. Get your foot in the door and you can move up fast. Build a portfolio. Document your home lab. Show problem solving examples on LinkedIn or GitHub. Keep learning. Security Plus is a great start. Next steps may include real world training like Try Hack Me or Blue Team Labs. These steps will help you to get some hands on experience and and practical skills that employers are looking for. Guys, Security Plus is an excellent certification to build a foundation, but the journey doesn't end there. It is time to take those next steps and build hands-on experience. Consider entry-level role and keep expanding your skills. Don't let setbacks stop you. You're on the right path. And remember, if you're stuck or have any questions, drop me a comment. I'll be more than happy to answer. Guys, remember, I'm here to help. In the end, do not forget to subscribe and like. I'll be back with more beginner-friendly entry-level content. Until then, take care.